Hey guys, welcome to the journey of crafting. Today we're going to show you how to turn this box into a nice little pretty organizational unit. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a box of some sort. You're going to need a knife and scissors, score tape, and decorative tape or paper. I chose tape. This is duct tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I got two rolls for two dollars. And I don't remember where I got this tape, but it's really pretty. It's like a washi tape and it's glitter. It's got a backing on it. So we're gonna use that for some decorative accents. So first thing you wanna do is move everything out of the way. Take your box and unfold it. Whatever box you have, basically all you're going to do is you're going to cut the tops off here, the flap and the flaps. So we can go ahead and do that now. Off the flaps. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is, I went ahead and did this, take some time, and put some score tape or any kind of strong double-sided adhesive, and you're gonna put it right around the edge of this box. Because it is a folded box, and you might wanna put something sturdy inside, and as you can see right there, maybe, I put it on the wrong side. So I might end up lining the bottom of this with paper, because that score tape is really, really hard to get up. So, depending on what you wanna put in this box, and you might know before you make the box, like I do, I'm going to be using this to store my scrap pieces of paper. Um, in a previous video, I showed you guys a haul that I made um, for joannes.com, and I got some scrap paper. That's not the only scrap paper I had. So, I'm gonna need something to put all that scrap paper in. And so I want to make sure that this box will hold up. So all you're going to do is you're going to put that score tape right there on the edge and make sure you burnish it down. And then just peel up your backing. But before you do that, there is another side right here. So make sure that you peel up both sides before you stick anything down because it's gonna be probably kind of a pain in the butt if you don't put it that way. So you're just gonna unfold it a little bit and as you can see, it just, it folds nicely. So you're gonna put your hand into the other side like this and then you're gonna push really hard right at those creases because you want to make sure that that is good and stuck down. And if you really wanted to, you could try to put some extra adhesive. I only put one strip and I, I'm i pretty sure that that's going to hold well enough because it is score tape and it's a pretty, pretty strong adhesive. Like I said, you can use any adhesive you want or you just don't have to do it at all. It really depends on what you're gonna put in there. Like if you're just gonna put uh, scrap lint, um, scrap pieces of ribbon then that's not gonna you know that's not gonna have any weight to it at all and it'll be just fine so now we're gonna get in the fun part and decorating it so we already have the flaps cut off now we're going to decorate it also if you want you can save these I typically do because I use them kind of like in mosaics and whatnot to uh, make inserts or folders or whatever so like I said Fun part, we get to decorate it. So you take your paper or your tape. I decided to choose tape. Now, like I said before, I got this tape at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I was able to get a few rolls for quite an affordable price. If you really wanted to, you could do the bottom. I'm not going to. I'm going to just line it right up. I'm going to overlap just a little bit so it'll fold under and then just go all the way around and push it down. If you wanted to, you could use a bone folder, but I just use my fingers. Just do a little bit at a time and that will limit the amount of air bubbles that you have. I hope this isn't causing too much shadow. I'm still getting used to how my lighting works. So if you guys have any tips or advice on how to get my lighting good, let me know, please. All right, so now we're just gonna cut this off. You can use an X-Acto knife or you can use scissors. I just use whatever's handy. 
And I typically don't like tearing it just because it is right there on the surface and we do want this to look pretty. So we're just gonna go again. I am going to pick a different spot to start in than this one because I don't want it to be like, oh, that's where she started her tape every time. Because it will kind of cause a little bit of a crease. And the thing with duct tape is once it's down, it is down. So if you make a boo-boo, you gotta live with it. Or just take it all up and try again. But the great thing about this is it's a cardboard box. It costs me nothing to make this particular organization box. Now granted, I did pay for the Create a Sticker refill, but I was going to buy that anyway. And now I get two for one. I get a refill and an organization unit. Yay! Who doesn't love free stuff, right? So we're just gonna cut that off. I am gonna go ahead and finish this box and I will come right back as soon as it's done, okay? As you can see. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these corners in. Now if you don't mind the bulkiness, you can just fold straight down and it'll be just fine. I tend to like to keep the bulky down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the corner just a little bit. And I gotta be careful because there's tape on the top side too. So trim that corner down just a little bit. And apparently I didn't trim it enough. And it may not seem like that much, but when you get to bigger pieces like this, that's gonna add up really big. So we wanna trim all the corners down and that will take just a few seconds. See, there. Do the other side. Make sure you connect your cuts. Okay, so now that we have that done, oh, I forgot a corner. Now that we have that almost done, we can fold our pieces in. All right, so if I can get these off of my finger, that would be fantastic. Like I said, duct tape will stick. And it doesn't like coming up, including it to your skin. Okay, so we're just gonna fold these down, just like so. Cover up, mess that green. That worked out well. All right, now, like I said, that bulk is down. All right, so now we're just gonna do the top side, and that one should be easier because I can just set it down on the mat. I say that, and then it's gonna stick to me all over the place. I swear these projects know that I'm brand new to YouTube and they're just like, nope, we're not going to work for you. I swear I've been crafting all my life, but I don't know. I think it's when the camera turns on, they're just like, nope, we're going to make everything go wrong possible. And it's going to take you an hour to do something that would normally take you five minutes. So now that's cut. You can go ahead and fold that down. And if you really wanted to, this is where I cut the tab off. If you remember the little tab that goes inside the top, there's like a little bitty gap right here. If you really wanted to make that sturdier, you could, before you tape this down, you could glue like a popsicle stick right here and make that even sturdier. You could actually do that anyway um, before you tape everything down, just glue it, even if you didn't have that little gap. All that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a sturdier box. I have made boxes like that before, but I'm just gonna make this one super simple and I'm gonna grab bigger scissors. I just made this one like super simple so it would be quick and easy for you guys. And you could get the idea of how everything worked and so you could go and use your own boxes. Man, I love boxes. You could use boxes for everything. I actually have a section in my art room upstairs. I have two art rooms, how sad is that? Because we don't have a lot of room in our house so, and no, I do not have two slap full art rooms. No, I do not have that much space in my house. So I have a closet upstairs. It's a walk-in closet. It's a, I think it's a storage closet actually. So it's, it's a decent size for a closet. And I have that 
and it has basically all my like over stuff like all my papers are up there um, because I don't have room for it down here um, but yeah so I don't even remember where I was going with that but yeah anyway oh yeah I have cardboard boxes um, I have like when I get things in the mail I will keep the pieces I'll cut the lids off and I'll keep those because those make for fantastic albums look forward to that video soon so anyway this is now done now if you really wanted to you could stop here and your box would be done but I do like bling I love sparkles so we're gonna use this pretty 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 tape and like I said before I'm not sure where I got it from and now it's not gonna want to open I'm not sure where I got it from but I have one in white and I have one in black. I think I just got it from like my local uh, store. Like we're military, so we have an exchange on base. <clears throat> and so I think that's where I got it from, honestly, which I saw it one day while we were in there looking for something else. And I was like, oh wow, that is so pretty. So I got it from there. So um, I don't know if you guys can see the shiny right there, but it's got a backing on it. So you're gonna want to measure out you know what you want to do with it so do you want to make a border like this or do you want to make it accents like this or whatever it is you want to do to it go ahead and cut your pieces <clears throat> and then you just put them straight on now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pieces I'm gonna decide how I want to put this first and then I'm gonna cut the pieces out and I will be right back you guys it across the top and now my box for me is finished all it needs is a little bit of paper to put inside of it and we are good to go now you can put anything in here you can put paper you can put cards you can put whatever you want now these cards I just got but as you can see they are a little bit too small for this particular box so I might have to make another box but you could really put anything in here you could decorate it out even more than it already is you can leave and leave the bling off. You can just use your pattern paper, whatever you want to do. The possibilities with boxes and cardboard are really, really endless. Like you could do so much with cardboard. So you could make albums with it. You could make, you could base, make little cards for pocket letters. I've done that before. I've used recycled cardboard and put paper on both the front and the back just to make those cards a little bit more sturdy. Oh, man, I love cardboard. Anyway, so this is my box and it is done. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Like I said before, this channel is brand new, so you will definitely have a lot more videos to look forward to. If you guys have any recommendations for any arts and crafts videos that you want to see, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, guys, thank you.